to try black cuttlefish ink pasta. Food, which I'm not complaining about. Yeah, I don't have food. Okay, time to try. Mmm. Weirdly, it tastes like tomatoes. <laughs> I like it though.
to me speed walking home because it's freaking cold. Like Florida's getting cold. Not actually that cold, it's just like under 50. Which like compared to what's happening back home, like it's nothing. But the school is cold. Like my feet have been cold the entire day in my shoes, which I'm very annoyed by. But anyways, I am going to go home, go to the bathroom, put on more layers, and then head out to the store and look for like any kind of black square of fabric. I have decided to, for a final for one of my classes that offers like a creative option I'm gonna embroider like a morning veil um like 1500s esque um and it's due in like two weeks so um yeah I have a lot of embroidery in my future boom shakalaka Layers are acquired. Off to the store we go. I'm hoping that they have just like a black dish towel or something. And if they don't, but they have something in a different color, you'd best believe I will be buying that and then be buying black paint and a paintbrush. Um, because I do need to get this started because. Victoria Kelowna has a lot of words of grief. So today is Wednesday. It is very cold here. I don't know. I'm trying to see my breath. Um, yeah, I've got gloves on and like all bundled up. This is, I think, the coldest it's been here. It's like 35 degrees, which like in the grand scheme of things isn't that cold because like it snowed back home yesterday so um you know but anyways i am walking to a site visit for my italian class we're going to visit a metalsmith so that should be interesting um That's the deal with today. That's what's happening. So that was really cool. This guy has been a metalsmith since he was 15. Now he's 76. So he's been at it for like literal decades, just along in his workshop. He does like metalworking, jewelry, and also things like napkin rings and 
salt and pepper holders for brands like Dior, Dolce & Gabbana, um, Cartier, Gucci, all of these things, which is crazy because he's like probably doing really well for himself, but like he's just this sweet old man, <laughs> like so dedicated to his craft. And that is so cool, like, that we got to go there and see how it happens. Um, I bought a pair of earrings that were only 25 euro, because, like, in his shop you get the special discount, because, like, elsewhere it would have been a lot more expensive to get his work. Um, I think they're really pretty. So, yeah, um, that was pretty cool. And now I'm leaving, and it is slightly less cold out. So, that's good, I guess. So, it is Wednesday night, and I am headed to the opera. Um, I'm walking in heels. It's 45 minutes. This is fun. I already knocked four minutes off the estimated time from the map app though. Um, and yeah, it's taking me all over the place, which is pretty funky. Like, I have no idea where I am right now. Supposedly close to the train station, but I don't know. Ah, uh, so. I'm excited to see the opera though. Uh, oh, I'll show you my outfit later, I guess. Because you can't see anything right now. But yeah, fun times. Happy Wednesday. I was just like, okay, take me to the center and I'll find my own way home from there. And it was like 11 o'clock, 11.30. And I was just like on the phone with my parents, because why not? Um, and then I got home at 11.30 and my host dad had some leftover dinner for me, which was very nice because that cake did not hold me much. And yeah, I also walked like four miles almost. Or I don't even know. Like high heel boots, and I have like massive blisters on my feet now. So that's so fun. But, anyways, all in all, 10 out of 10. 
10 highly recommend that you go see the Italian Opera. Hello and welcome to Thursday morning. I got to bed very late last night, but honestly, I might take a nap. Maybe. We shall see. Um, I am walking right now to the UPC for my, excuse me, my Renaissance Art History class. And warmer than it was yesterday, but it's not warm by any means. It's like 50 degrees. It's been raining, so we can put it up. We can put it up. Um, which is an interesting experience because my feet are very sore from last night walking five miles in high heel boots and like on the way there it was speed walking because I did not have much time um so yeah this is fun and like my legs just hurt in general but you know what today will be a relatively chill day got the UPT visit and then I can go take a nap, maybe, and then have work, and then class, and then I'm not doing anything tomorrow that I know of, so it's good. You know, what's crazy is that there's only three weeks left from today. It's absolutely wild. I have a lot of projects to do and essays, things like that. Um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy. Good crazy in some ways. But it's unbelievable. Also, like, Something that made me kind of feel like I'm a local here now is that I was walking and I was like, wait, why does this look different? And then I realized that there's like scaffolding that's been taken down that has been there since I've been here. So I was like so totally used to that and then you now it's gone from my walk I was just like, ooh, that's crazy. Just finished Ifeetsi visit number five. Still haven't seen everything in that place because it's so freaking huge. Um, but yeah, it stopped raining. So I'm gonna go home and have a snack and then maybe a nap before I go to work later. So that's the plan. Happy Friday, it is December 1st, and it is actually like 65 degrees here. I went for a run in shorts and a t-shirt, wearing a t-shirt right now. Like, it got on winter here, which is just ironic because back home there is still snow. Um, so today has been pretty chill. It's like 5.15 and this is the first time I've left the house other than my run because I slept in and then I did some journaling and then like not that much else happened. I went for my run and then now I'm going to get to the Uffizi and try to get my poses. Even though I went yesterday, because like, there's still so freaking much in that building, 
And then I'm gonna go to a library um, that has like a really nice cafe after the UPC closes because the cafe library is open until like really late at night. We went there a few weeks ago with my Italian class just for like a site visit. Um, and yeah, I have some books in my bag that I'm gonna read so I can get some homework done for my little Friday night. And I might have dinner at the library, maybe somewhere else. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Um, and then tomorrow I am going to San Marino, which is a little micro country, um, in like eastern central Italy. And yeah, um, I've been wanting to go there for ages, and my dad said that he would reimburse me for it as a birthday present because he had really wanted to go with me when my parents were here but we just couldn't find the time so I'm making it happen and then that's pretty much it so you feet to visit done I made it in just in time no line Super not crowded. This is why, pro tip, go to the UPC an hour before it closes, like right before the last entrance, because it closes at 6.30, last entrance is 5.30. I've gotten there like <clears throat> between 5 and 5.30, three or four times, and it's been great. So I finally saw, I think, everything in the UPC and it only took me six times of going to do that um, so that's my accomplishment for today and they had I checked I double checked the gift shop they had the magnet that my mom wanted that they had run out of last time so bought that for her and a couple other things so it was pretty good and I got out just in time. Like I was in the last room right when it was closing time. So I'd call it a success. is like east coast of Italy kind of and in about 40 minutes I have the bus to San Marino micro country happening very soon very excited while I wait I'm gonna try and find some food because I'm hungry um because yeah, I had a train this morning to Bologna and then Bologna to Rimini. And in, um, like, it was really dark and rainy this morning, and I was speed walking as per usual, so I didn't film anything. But we're all good. Everything's good. like I'm climbing up 
the stairs of an old castle wall kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna try and get to like the center of town and find some cool things. back in Florence and it's fall time so um I went to this very fancy candle shop in San Marino and they had these crazy candles that were like really really cool um so I got this one which is it's an ornament it's a Christmas ornament with this blue bird on a tree um, to take home to the family. And then this one I'm gonna give my host family. And then this is her friend. It's a moon. And got some postcards, souvenirs, bookmark kind of thing. I got this for my mom. got a ticket for the bathroom that I paid one euro for at the train station and then it was just a hole in the ground. I paid a euro to pee in a hole on the ground. I got this really pretty ornament also for my parents, like for our house. It's hand painted, it's very pretty. There's a lot of bubble wrap in here. It's very good because, you know, it's glass. Yet another magnet for the collection and a gift for my cousin. And yeah, um, San Marino was so totally worth it. Micro country day trip, like, that was amazing. I'm so, so, so glad that I went. So glad that I did it. New country on the list. And now I'm home. And without further ado, we're ending this vlog because it's already insanely long. So you better enjoy it. Ciao, ciao.